first off, I loved your film. I thought it was terrific. Um, I, I especially love that scene with you and the tribal elders. <laughs> 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 Thank you for asking that question because I really wanted to be able to explain this. Um, yes, it's true that, that feudalism and tribalism wants to actually not educate people. So um, the feudal and the tribals work together with the Islamists in the country to keep education down. And one uh, feudal, very big feudal landlord from Balochistan once said to me, when I asked a very naive question, I said, you know, you're so powerful. Why don't you uh, start education here? And uh, this was a few years ago. And he said, um, that's really stupid. Why would I want people to ask me questions? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so that has been the status. And that's why I think free and fair elections is so dangerous, you know, because it means perpetuating the same rule. Because this guy came into power through elections. Um, and uh, I want to explain a little bit about the status of the military and why the army right now needs to educate people. This is a very important thing that has happened in Pakistan, and I think America needs to wake up to this reality. What has happened is that over 26 years of jihad, while the Pakistan army has really helped Islamic extremists to grow, backed by American dollars and Saudi rials, um, the, there has come a time when the Islamic extremists have grown so big that they threaten the Pakistan army itself. Mm. The Pakistan army knows that it's fighting a state within a state, and it cannot stand that. It cannot tolerate that. They have only two choices. One is to either play second fiddle to the Islamic extremists, or which they won't do, uh, or they have to fight them. And what's special about Musharraf is that he understands that it's not enough to fight them militarily alone. It's not enough to just kill them. It's, it's very important to take the country, the whole of Pakistan, with him to fight the Islamic extremists in terms of the value system that has been, you know, um, that has been uh, instilled in Pakistan in the last 26 years. So he wants to change people from within. And that's why education has become very important to him. Uh, and he has actually not only changed the madrasa curriculum to make it more modern, but he's also changed um, the entire curriculum in Pakistan across the board so that we actually have done away with all the hate, hate literature. We've done away, um, uh, we've, we've introduced history from pre-Islamic times so that we actually accept our background, our history as being, you know, pre-Islamic, starting from the, from Mojadaro and uh, the Indus Valley civilization. All this had, uh, you know, not been there. I'm the last generation in Pakistan to have studied evolution, Darwin, and pre-Islamic history. After that, from 1979 onwards, our history books were changed around completely, and we were told that history only begins with the advent of Islam in Pakistan <laughs> in 711 AD. So, you know, there's a massive change that's taking place right now, which we will only see, you know, we will see the good results of it in, say, another generation. Um, but uh, at the moment, we are still trying to see, you know, how, how this takes, takes roots. Yeah? After the suspension of the Constitution, I had heard and I agreed with the fact that we had supported Musharraf since 9-11 and not the Pakistani people. <coughs> now having seen your film, I'm not so sure about that, that we can make that distinction. But even if we, had, even if we now chose to take that tremendous amount of money and try to support education, development, um, jobs, the middle class, is there even an infrastructure to get that aid to where it would go 
to make those positive changes. Yes, I think absolutely there is because there's a very strong political will to make that happen. There's a strong need. I mean, that's, that is what is special, is that for the first time in Pakistan, the government of Pakistan needs the people. It's the first time. They need it in their battle to fight Islamic extremism, desperately. So they will use it in the right way. They have to use it in the right way. Yeah, somebody at the back has been, no, actually, there's a, there's a lady behind you. Yes, that, yes, the one in the orange. <laughs> I don't know this, sorry, I'm not aware. He wrote about, uh, he's a, a former mom climber who built schools in Baltistan, and he was supported by Bashar and the army. Mm -hmm. And the tribal elders in Baltistan were very, very supportive. The local uh, Shia leader was very supportive, and they uh, defeated a couple of, I don't know what they were, um, they, a couple of times, one of What's his name again? Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm 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 not aware of this. Yes. Uh, just wanted to ask. Uh, I know you just finished this one. But have you got some ideas about your next project? And if not, why not something on Imran Khan? On Imran Khan. <laughs> well, uh, no, I wouldn't think of doing a film on Imran Khan because. I don't think he uh, has any consequences for Pakistan. Um, but about my next project, it's a narrative film that was developed at the Sundance uh, Screenwriters Lab and is supported by the Sundance Institute. It's called Rafina and it's about the struggle of a young lower middle class woman who wants to join the fashion and beauty industry. And it's about the people who want to keep her down. Uh, it's, a, it's a story about birthing about a painful struggle. And it's really what you see in this film. It's, you know, it's about a new country wanting to be born. And there are a lot of old values that are trying to hold it down. And, but it's from the perspective of a young woman. And that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, no, I didn't encounter any censorship actually, and uh, President didn't, uh, or his office didn't ask to see the film before it was aired. We, of course, as courtesy, courtesy sent it to them, a shorter version of this film because that was ready earlier, but certainly not before it was shown. Um, and we will send them this version as well. Um, but um, no, I mean, there was no censorship. <laughs>